Hello, everyone, and welcome to, the, I guess, the return of the ZD mailbag. The snail, snail mailbag. We put our P.O. box out there for everybody to send us stuff, which is P.O. box 328 in West Dundee, Illinois, 60118. So um, we got two packages and three letters. Yo, you want to guess? It's like... It feels like a book. Doesn't it feel like the Hyrule Historia? No, it's soft cover. What do we got here? In the land of Catawampus. Is that what that says? The complete exploration of West Virginia's elusive, ghostly, and fanciful beasts. As you may know, the masked aliens from Majora's Mask are loosely based on the mysterious flatwood monsters of West Virginia. I also have some artwork stickers and silly magnets featuring the flatwood monster. Even though it's silly, I love that a small part of my state is represented in the Zelda series. Your pal, Catherine. I love that. I love like local like myths and stuff like that. I think this is the best, this photo here is the best one to show off kind of the inspiration they had for um, Majora's Mask. It really does kind of make me think of them. Did you have any idea any about this? No, I'd never heard this before, so. All I know about West Virginia is there's roads that lead there and people call it home. Up next, we got our pal Noah from uh, Baltimore, who sent three letters that are all the exact same size with like a folded note in them. Let, let me open one first. Yeah, let's see. Maybe there are three questions. Oh, oh it's a drawing. <laughs> Is that someone drilling into a Goron? Just a quick pinch. Oh, he's getting vaccinated. That's what's happening. Is that, is that what, yeah. with a drill? <laughs> well, how else do you get into a Goron? All right, that's a beautiful Goron. So in this one, it's a Goron blood drive, okay. Is this a story, or we, should we have opened this up? Are I they think, numbered one? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like, okay, the Goron got uh, pierced, <laughs> and now he's giving blood. Yeah, the more I'm looking at this, this looks like it's a drill and he's sawing off his arm. <laughs> Not, uh, Dude, what are, what's Goron blood? Do we ever see any Goron blood? I don't think so. Probably green because of N64. Do Gorons, if you cut a Goron, <laughs> do they bleed? Do they have a heart? Do they have like, like... I gotta believe they do. Goron blood? Lava. What do you think a Goron's body temperature is? Hot. That's why they like the hot beats. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we got All right, here. I think this is the finale of the story. The doctor is sticking something in the Goron's nose. Oh, that's the COVID test. He's get, is he getting a nasal COVID yeah, test? Yeah, when they jam it up your nose. <laughs> okay, nasal COVID test. Why is he getting blood drawn? That's um, is dialysis or something? What's going on? Oh, Goron blood drive. I think that's unrelated to COVID. He's donating blood. <laughs> Let us know if Gorons have blood. All right, uh, the grand finale here, yeah, comes from our buddy David from Pennsylvania. All right. So wait, wait, we, we're gonna play a game here. We got a letter from we got West Virginia, Maryland, Maryland and, Pennsylvania. and Pennsylvania. So the East, uh, you're doing a good job so far, but we we're trying to get at least. All 50 states. We want to do 50 sure. states. But con other countries too? Uh, we we knocked out we knocked out the United States. So we've got representation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, by the way, uh, David, excellent job with the packaging here. Oh, oh, first, first. There's no there's no like noise. It's packed so tightly. Yeah, there's either a lot of bubble wrap like Let me get it again. Any guesses? It's kind of kind of heavy. Yeah, no, I, I, no guess. Yeah, the, like, you know, you, you ever, like, you know, Christmas Day, you're, what, 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 it's yeah. like, it's shoes, there's, you know. There's no movement, so. Yeah, no movement at all. Whoa, okay. Should we read this first? Yeah. Ooh. Greetings, Zella Dungeon family. <laughs> nice. Let me start by saying ZD is one heck of a channel. I Thank won't you. say my age, but I'm young enough to recall my dad buying the original Legend of Zelda from Kittle City in 1989. 
Fast forward three months as he conquered Ganon with the level 9 map he hand drew on graph paper. Yep, those were the days. Anyway, ZD's been great. It's been a great escape from the craziness of work, life, bills, lockdowns, etc. I've really enjoyed the reviews, walkthroughs, live streams, news, polls, Facebook, and Instagram posts. For the record, I'm no artist. However, I'm an eBay seller with an overstock. Oh. Please accept this mystery box as a small token of my appreciation. Oh, boy. Something for the archives. Thanks again for making consistently entertaining content. Keep up the great work. Remember, it's dangerous to go alone. Oh, Take I got this. the old man there. Thanks. That was that was a really nice. All letter. content cleaned and sanitized. Oh, good. It was packed really nice. You can tell this is an eBay seller. <laughs> is it an NES controller? Yes, it is. We got a <laughs> an NES RF switch. <laughs> okay. We can almost hook up an NES, I think. And an NES controller. Okay. Let's see. If, if, is it a yeah. buttons click? No stick. It's got good uh, control feel. More books. Add to our library. You want to open this? Nervous. All right, we got a whole bunch of magazines. Some Nintendo Powers. October uh, 93, the uh, Link's Awakening. But this nice. is in pristine condition, too. Wow. We got Star Fox, the Manish Cap, and uh, Twilight Princess. Wow. God, there's something so, like, soothing about... Flipping through a Nintendo Power? Yeah. This review covers the first three levels of the game. You know, I like about classic guides when they show you a map, but it's, like, partially uncharted. That's a beautiful map. It's the full world, but just uh, cutting off the parts you can't go into later on. I think they want you to, like, move along with the game. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to get stuck early on and just put the game down. Is this part of the lore? Does Star Fox have a fake robotic foot? Honestly. What is Star Fox? Is he like, is he just a fox or is he supposed to be like a humanoid? He's a, yeah, he's a fox guy. But what's his his history? Like, cause he's like, he's like, he's like a hybrid character. Like he's not a, he's a human, right? He's a human fox, like, he, oh yeah. <laughs> Like a centaur is a half horse, half. Uh... Are you you're trying to suggest that they need to explain this? Like his dad was a human and his mom was a fox or All right, something. Uh, wh what's the guy? What's the rabbit? What's his name? The Peppy and Fox have the same feet. They all have robot feet. Even what's this guy's name? Slippy, and Falcon. Falco. Here's what I wanted to see is what their preview of Twilight Princess said. Appearances are deceiving. Green duds. Check. Sword. Check. But a Triforce tattoo and an uncanny kinship with animals are a sign that this Link's of a new breed. This ain't your daddy's Link. Twilight? Princess? The mystery is tied to a limbo where Light seems to have died a horrible, horrible death. The effect is not unlike a fistful of ashes thrown into your eyes, black, white, and full of pain. Who is the target demographic for uh, Nintendo Power Magazine? I mean, at this time, it's clear to me that it's it's meant to appeal to be like this is for this is for teens. The Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess will break hearts with its darkness. All right, so we got some stickers here, and on the back they have tips. So here's one of the Zelda logo. And on the back we have a tip for Double Dragon. Instead of fighting the third opponent, simply push him off the conveyor. But yes, that is definitely a strategy in Double Dragon. Okay. That is a very specific tip, but I like it. If you just see here, like, the color palette on Link on these is different, I feel like. What, what, what hints for it? The Legend of Zelda. Press the select button quickly after give, giving the Goria your bait. Then hit up, A, and continue. You'll beat the Goria and still have the bait in your inventory. Wow. Did you know that? So you use the up and A, the save and quit. Yeah. But after you drop the bait. So he goes away, but the bait, you keep the bait. I think that's going to do it for our first return of the snail mailbag. In summary, we learned about the history of them from Majora's Mask. Uh, we got some Gorons that got vaccinated and gave blood. We've got uh, some NES RF switches, a controller, and uh, some old uh, Nintendo Power magazines. Some good tips. If you have something that you want to share with us, 
Uh, it could be fan artwork, fan letters, games, and Nintendo RF switches. <laughs> uh, send it over to the PO Box. You can find it in the description of the video below. And uh, we'll probably do one of these, I don't know, once a month or so, or whenever we've got at least three, four packages, I'd say. Yeah. And, uh, well, thanks for watching.